Hello YouTube and welcome back. This is part 16 of my series on utilizing Blender as a video editor. Today we're going to talk about an effect strip called Speed Control. Now, you can use the Speed Control effect strip to slow down and speed up the video. Uh, that in itself is kind of cool, but what's really cool is that you can actually use the Speed Control effect strip to speed up a lower frame rate video or slow down a higher frame rate video so that we can actually have videos of different frame rates working together well. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So if you look over here, my default setting for frame rate is 30 frames per second, meaning that when I output whatever video that we're editing, it's going to set it to 30 frames per second. I can set this to anything. It just turns out that I set it to 30 frames per second because I'm recording my videos at 30 frames per second. So that's logical. Now, I'm working with somebody else who actually has video files that are 25 frames per second, and I want to be able to edit those videos in with my 30 frame per second files. Now, I could actually use a program like FFmpeg, and we can actually change the frame rates that way. Uh, I would recommend trying that, but if I just wanted, want to mix something on the fly, this is a really great way to do it. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually import a 30 frame per second movie file. I have them here. Let's see, 30 frames per second. So let me grab this and pull it over. There we go. And as you can see, this video is 30 frames per second. It synchronized the audio and the video because I recorded the video at 30 frames per second and knows that this is a 30 frame per second video. But what happens if I switch this now to 25 frames per second? Let's watch what happens now. This video is 30 frames per second. You notice this that the actual audio and video are now out of sync. So how do I actually fix this problem? Well, I go to add and I go to Effect Strip. Well, first we have to make sure that we select the video. So I'll select the video with my right mouse button and go to Add, Effect Strip, and Speed Control. So now we know that this video is recorded at 30 frames per second, but I want to convert it to appear like it's actually 25 frames per second. So I need it actually to speed the video up to get past those extra frames. But how do I know how to speed it up? Well, it's actually really easy. Just grab a calculator. All you have to do is take the speed or frame rate of the source file. We know that that's 30 frames per second. And we divide that by the output frame rate that we desire. So I know that my source file is 30 frames per second. So I'll take the number 30. And I divide that by the output frame rate that I desire. I desire it to be 25 frames per second. 25 and that gives us 1.2. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to go to speed by right clicking on the effect strips here and we're gonna go down to here and you'll see in the effect strip section that there's a little check mark that says stretch to input strip length. Let's uncheck that and that will give us access to this speed factor option and we're gonna actually just type in 1.2 and what this will do is this will actually speed up the actual 30 frame per second file so that it actually will match. Now you'll see when I actually when I actually play this this video is 30 frames per second. This video is 30 frames there we go. per second. So what it did is it actually went through the additional frames much quicker so that it would be in sync. So that's it's as simple as that that if you want to actually if you want to actually take a uh, a, a file a, a source file and you want to make it match a frame rate you just take the source files frame rate and you divide it by the output frame rate and that gives you the speed factor that you need to type in over here. Now, just to actually demonstrate the reverse situation, I'm going to take a five frame rate video and I'm going to try to get it to play at 30 frames per second. So we're going to delete this. There we go. I'm going to put this on one. 
and I'm going to add a new movie and I'm going to take my five frames per second video and we're going to actually put this to five frames just so I can show you that it really is at five frames per second custom and we're going to type in five over here and I'm going to play this this video is five frames per second this video is five frames per second now it's really choppy because it's only five frames per second but you can see that it's actually in sync so I want to actually make this video 30 frames per second. So I'm going to actually select it from here, 30 frames. Now watch what happens when I play it. This video it went through the first five frames very quickly. This video is so I now need to, first of all, we need to make sure that the video is actually matching at least the minimum size of the audio. So I need to stretch the video to 253 so that it, it has enough time to get to the same spot. Let's see, there we go. And what we're going to do is we'll select our video and we're going to add the effect strip. Add effect strip, speed control. And we need to figure out what's the, um, what's the, the speed factor here that we have to change. So we have a source file that's five and we want it to become 30. So we'll divide it by 30 and we get the speed factor of 0.166666. So let's go over to right click on speed and we'll go down and we'll uncheck stretch to input strip length and we'll go to the speed factor and we'll just type in that number. 166. I don't think it will go any farther than that, than three, so 167. Let's take it up to 166. I just want to make sure that, there we go. And now we're going to actually play this. This video is five frames per second. And there you go. This video is five that actually stretched it out so that it would work in a 30 frame per second scenario. So that's how you actually do speed control for mixing frame rates uh, in your video editor. So you can actually basically, you can use this, you can have a 30 frame per second video, you can have a five frame per second, and you just use speed control to actually make them all match up. So just remember, you take the source frame rate and you divide it by the output that you desire frame rate, and that will give you your speed factor. And that should do it.